Well, what do we have here in match number four, the semi-main event of Marigold Fantastic Adventure from October 5th, 2024. That was yesterday as I record this. My Sakurai, one half of the tag team champions, taking on Chika Goto in a match that I thought was Bruiser Brody versus Abdullah the Butcher. What the hell? I mean, these two, Chika Goto attacks my Sakurai as she hits the ring. And before she can get a ring jacket off, before she can put her tag team title down, Chika's just losing her mind. And the match is off. Now, Mai fights back, slapping her in the corner, and they just go at it. Like, again, like Bruiser Brody and Abdullah the Butcher. Am I saying it's that level of wrestling? God, I'm not idiotic. No, but that's that's how they're acting here. That they spill outside the ring, they're into the crowd, they're into the chairs, they're hitting each other with chairs, they're choking each other, they're doing everything they can. It finally gets back to the ring and my Sakurai gets Chika Goto down and pretty much just stands on her head. Just gets her down and stands on her head and then puts her in a somewhat, I guess you might call a Boston Crab, but she does it by pulling on her ponytail. Sits on Chika Goto's ass and pulls her head back with her ponytail, then wraps her up in the ropes and continues to pull her by the ponytail. And this is just brutal. Chika Goto fights back, gets her into, a, into an abdominal stretch and digs her elbow into the ribs of Mai Sakurai, trying to make her squeal in pain, which she does. Gets her into the ropes, won't let go of it. When the ref finally admonishes her to do so, hits her with a flying hip check so hard that it's wonder Mai Sakurai doesn't have a concussion. But my Sakurai gets her in a big Fisherman Buster suplex and holds on for a modified dragon sleeper hold that Chika Goto uses those long legs of hers to get to the ropes and it's broken out of. My Sakurai fights back with that leg drop, that sort of spinning leg drop holdover move that she does and climbs to the top rope only for Chika Goto to get up and slam her off of the top rope and give her a running sliding lariat. Chika Goto then scoops up Mai Sakurai, slams her down, and they continue to brawl until Mai Sakurai fights back and hits a running leg lariat. But Chika Goto picks her up and slams her down. Mai Sakurai hits another running leg lariat and a crucifix bomb and a big belly-to-back suplex. I mean, this goes on back and forth for the whole length of the match. It wasn't a super lengthy match. I mean, it was just shy of 10 minutes. It was nine and a half minutes. But these two rode each other, beat each other, slammed each other, choked each other, again, as if it was some old-school blood feud that they wanted to take each other out, that they wanted to ruin the career of the other one. That's how these two fought. Now, I'm going to be fair, honest, and true... Um, Chika Goto needs to learn to strike better. I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it out there. I think she's come a long way in her career. I've seen her in Act Wrestling Girls, however you say that, AWG, and she was good. She's fun, especially in a tag team. But here, this might have been the best Chika Goto singles match I've seen. Now, I have not watched the whole Dream Star tournament at all. I've only watched the finale. Was she in that? I don't know. But this match was solid for her, except for her striking. It is so weak. Someone get with this woman and teach her how to strike better. Other than that. This was like, wow, really impressive in regard to the intensity these two put into this matchup. My Sakurai s sinks in her STF to win it. Chika Goto can't withstand that. She can't reach the rope. She has to tap. So the win goes to one half of our tag team champions, my Sakurai. And they're both on the microphone afterwards. I wish I knew what they were saying, but I'm thinking we've got to see this again one day, right? I mean, it was pretty intense.